Welcome to Open Source BBM Pulsar. Here we discuss about magnetic pulsars, um, different P PMF configuration. In this video, I'd like to show you one of the models. I decided to call this uh, BBM Pulsar 5B Plus. This is based on a 5B circuit, which you can find on my website if you go to bbmpulsar.org and then select um, electronic circuits and then go to BBM Pulsar 5B. Currently I have two configurations of this circuit 120 volt DC here and 220 volt DC. Um, this specific one is slightly upgraded. Um, normally I have 2.4 Tesla on the output. Uh, this setup puts out 2.6 Tesla and it uses a strip coil compared to 14 gauge coil that I use in a 5B circuit. Let me go over a few things that I have upgraded and so the first thing I added is a pulse counter with the memory. This memory you can reset by pushing this button. It doesn't reset when you power it off. Here you have a power dial. You can adjust between 1 Tesla and go all the way to 2.4 Tesla. So your pulse protection LED. There's multiple protections built inside when it comes to temperature. And so one of the features for this model is it's isolated uh, when it comes to main power so it's isolated magnetically uh, from the main that's one of the safety features that I added to here also it features <clears throat> uh, dual voltage here you have a switch between 120 volt DC and 240 volt DC 220 this is the fuse here, down here. That's your um, exhaust fan. That's the air in. This case doesn't come with these pre-drill holes. I had to drill it myself. All right. So I have my Tesla meter set up. I'll show you guys the power output from it. Let's start with the lowest and we'll increase as we add some stored charge. So we'll reset that. There we go. Starts with one Tesla. As I increase to one and a half Tesla. Here's 1.48, 1.5 Tesla. This is gonna be around two Tesla. And all the way up is gonna be 2.6 Tesla. Um, on the highest settings, it pulsates around once a second. On two Tesla right here, it pulsates around once every three seconds. And when you decrease all the way down, it pulsates once a second. Once every second. What's cool about this coil compared to 14 gauge coil is that it doesn't heat up as fast. It takes twice longer to heat up. Although you get your session time within about eight minutes, um, but within this eight minutes, you're gonna get twice more pulses. Let's say when you select on the highest and you're compared to the 5B circuit. And also you're gonna get slightly stronger pulses. Instead of 2.4, you get 2.6. Okay, um, also I'd like to show you that this coil is more intense uh, because it's a strip coil, it's able to discharge capacitor bank faster, fast producing more intense pulses. Um, later on um, I'm gonna show you how the pulses look like when I get my oscilloscope um, out and measure everything. But for now, I'm just going to show you on the highest output um, when I place the coil on my hand. 
right here and power it up you should see how it's able to trigger the muscle of course it's not as strong as the 5.5b model which is 3.5 tesla or the 5 tesla bbm pulsar 6b model but we don't get this um i don't get this muscle trigger effect with a standard 14 gauge coil with pretty much same power output with this one i am able to get it so it seems to be more intense when i place the hand on my coil on the coil here i feel like electrical shock going all around my hand here all right guys just wanted to show you this model um as i said bbm pulsar is an open source so if you comment if you uh, share if you like um, that will help me and us to spread the information and help each other out in building these devices um, if you want PCBs they're also available from bbmposter.org you can find those um, if you have questions I'll be happy to answer them just leave your comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.